Well, Bette Midler is quickly becoming one of the most successful female movie stars in Hollywood. Since the 1986 film Down and Out in Beverly Hills, her screen career has taken off like a shot. But a lot of people forget that she had a film career before Down and Out, and it nearly went down the drain. Fortunately, Bette was able to make one of the most stunning comebacks in movie history, and she credits her resurgence to one thing. Here's Bette with the inside story. God, it's me with a bad haircut. Man, I paid 12 bucks for this. Bette Midler and Lily Tomlin meet their twins in Bette's latest movie, Big Business. It's a far cry from Midler's heartbreaking performance in the 1979 drama, The Rose. The role won her an Oscar nomination, but it also brought on the near ruin of her career. I didn't get any scripts after The Rose. I didn't get any dramatic scripts, and I didn't get any comedies. It's really only since 1985, 84, the end of 84, that uh, I've been working steadily. From reports from the set of The Rose, people in Hollywood thought Bette was too difficult to work with. Those reports were confirmed with the almost continual fighting on the set of Bette's next movie, Jinxed. The movie bombed, and Midler had a nervous breakdown. For four years, Bette couldn't get a movie role from anyone. We are gathered here today, <laughs> down and out in Beverly Hills, to enter into a historic agreement whereby Bette Midler and Walt Disney Pictures enter into this exclusive partnership. Midler was an outcast from Hollywood Studios for four years, until Walt Disney Pictures dared to take a chance on her. They starred her in Down and Out in Beverly Hills, and it was a smash. More hits from Disney followed, and suddenly Bette Midler was a giant star once again. Bette gives the credit to her boss, Disney Studios. They have encouraged me, and they, more than anything else, they've given me work. <laughs> which is which is more than I can say for a lot of people. And uh, they and the work keeps coming and they really have enjoyed the experience. And so for me this is like complete vindication and I Midler wants to make sure she never hits a dry period again. So at this press conference a year ago, Bette signed a contract with Disney Pictures to do three more movies for them. This at a time when no other star had a contract with the studio. It was unheard of, especially since Disney seems determined to keep Midler in comedies, yet Bet has no fears of being stereotyped. I'd like to be stereotyped. I have no, I, I, I like being in this little niche that I'm in. You know, it's hard for people to, it's hard to carve out a place for yourself in this business. And uh, I think when it's going so well, when it's not broken, don't fix it, you know? I'm really happy with what I'm doing now. Bette Midler. With The Rose, her career hit rock bottom. But after being down and out in Beverly Hills, she's now big business. Besides, I would like to make as many pictures as possible before the face falls into the soup, you know. <laughs>